What is going on, Jerome's? Your Minnesota Fighting Vikings rookies are back at TCO Performance Center Bar and Grill. And also, there's a handful of tryouts they're putting in the work on Sunday. And the Vikings currently have 89 men on the roster. Again, with Junior Ajo, international pathway player, they're able to add two more players. Uh, so, we're going to have tryouts. That's right, man. Uh, so, here are the nine players. Interestingly enough, they're all uh, offensive players. And I, it, it is by design. So, you notice that they have five offensive linemen, two tackles, two guards in the center, uh, two tight ends, a wide receiver, and a quarterback. So, they're able to do mainly offensive drills and also from 21 personnel, 22 personnel. Looking good. Looking good, man. So, up at the top, you got quarterback Reese Udinsky, 24 years young, Richmond Spider. He's a 2023 UDFA. Uh, he's 6'4", 220. He was first team all CAA uh, in 2022. Uh, he initially played at Virginia Military Institute and then transferred to Maryland for a year, uh, but then realized that he'd have to play the Gophers, and then he transferred to Richmond and became a Spider. There you go. Uh, wide receiver David Moore has bounced around the league for a little bit. Originally from East Central, which... I don't know where that is. <laughs> it sounds like a made-up college and like a, a teen heartthrob movie. I don't know, man. But uh, the Pride of East Central has put up 78 catches, 1,163 yards receiving, and 13 touchdowns over his NFL career. He was a 2017 seventh rounder by Seattle. He's bounced around from the Seahawks to the to the Panthers. We actually signed like a decent two year deal. And then the Raiders, the Broncos, the Packers, the Chicago Bears, uh, as well as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Ooh, now if he makes the Vikings and then eventually is on the Lions, he'll have the NFC Central uh, blackout. With all five teams. That would be great, man. Uh, ooh, the NFC Central Infinity Stones. Mm -hmm. uh, then you got the two tight ends, Colin Thompson, 29 from Temple, uh, originally at Florida. He's a highly regarded and highly recruited tight end. He was the number two tight end in the country uh, his high school uh, his high school uh, year. Uh, then he went from the Giants, the, the Bears, and the Panthers. Uh, he's 6'4", 255. Career one catch, seven yards, one touchdown. So that's efficiency. Also played in the AAF as well as the XFL. And then other tight end, ooh, Sal Canella, uh, 26 out of Auburn. Uh, he, he's played for the uh, the Dolphins as well as the Packers. He's a 2020 UDFA, 6'5", 242. Uh, and he's the XFL champion with the Arlington Renegades. So put up 42 catches, uh, leading the Renegades as well as 415 yards receiving. So... Super interesting name. Hmm. Uh, then the offensive line, so five players. Bobby Evans, if that name sounds familiar, he's 26 from Oklahoma. He was originally on the Rams. He was a third-round pick by the Rams in 2019, which is not long ago, man. Also, he was on the Vikings practice squad at the end of last season. A lot of familiarity with Kevin O'Connell as well as Wes Phillips, so it's interesting that they're bringing him back in for another look. Uh, guard Rashad Coward, who you'll know. Very familiar name because he, he played and started uh, for the Crooked Chicago Bears. Originally came into the league as a defensive end out of Old Dominion, uh, but he's 28 years young. He's 6'5", uh, 319 pounds. Uh, he's gone from the Bears to the Steelers, the Jaguars, the Falcons, uh, and the Arizona Cardinals. It started 15 games, mostly with the Bears. Center Sean Harlow. 28 from Oregon State. Uh, he was a 2017 fourth rounder by the Falcons. Has eight career starts. Uh, bounced around to Indianapolis as well as the Cardinals. Everyone's been with Arizona. I don't know, man. Uh, then you got guard uh, Travis Sinclair. He's 23 out of Bethel. Now, he's super interesting because he was a UDFA this year. Uh, he was in a Vikings rookie minicamp as a tryout player. Uh, he's 6'5", 320, the pride of Rogers, Minnesota. Uh, so it's interesting that the Vikings... I'll bring him in for a second look. Maybe he ends up getting a spot, uh, as well as uh, Jack Snyder. No, the Snyder cut, uh, 24 from San Jose State, 2022 UDFA. He's 6'5", 310. Now, like I said, the Vikings have two 90-man uh, two roster spots. It, it would make sense for them to add offensive linemen to give them 15 total uh, so they can have three separate units, uh, as well as Brian O'Neill is going to be slowed by his Achilles potentially, uh, so that would make sense there. I mean, uh, you know, the rest of the way, I, I feel like we're pretty good at tight end, maybe at wide receiver. Maybe Udinski makes it as a fourth quarterback. Uh, teams generally go into training camp with four quarterbacks on the 90, but uh, we'll see. We're, we're letting Quasey cook, and all I see is nine future Hall of Famers uh, if they're given the right situation. There you go. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings try out nine, nine uh, players on Sunday uh, ahead of rookies reporting. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for the daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Vedmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.